Morning, everyone. <laughs> the reason I'm hiding my face and the, the screen with the death card is because I still haven't got over this rotten little head cold. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything more bad? <laughs> okay, anyhow, death. That's, how, that's me. Death warmed up. Um, number 13. When it comes up in a spread, people always assume, ooh, death, ah, you know, a scary, bad card. It's not. I mean, it can be a couple of things, okay? Let's, let's talk about this one. It's the dawning of a new age, dawning of a new era. It's the change psychologically in your outlook. You know, listen, say, for example, you're driving, God forbid, on the M25. Someone hits you. You roll over. You, your aunt, and no. your best friend and her daughter are in the car, you roll over three times, get to the other side, <laughs> get out of the car and realize all you have is a few scratches. You're going to look at life differently after that. It's like a, you know, your eyes being opened and, and valuing life. That's usually what death means, you know? New insight. Um, the only time it does mean death is when it's a death you're happily awaiting. <laughs> like the death of my cold. <laughs> ah! um, old Aunt Edna has had cancer for five years. She's in a lot of pain. Old Uncle Ernie, he's already passed away five years earlier because of a heart attack. Edna really wants to go and be with him. She's fed up of being uncomfortable. When she passes, you're actually going to be happy for her. She'll be happy because she'll be with her her beloved. That's a death that you'd slightly rejoice because you want to relieve someone of pain. That's really the only time this card means death. Okay, guys? Have a good day. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm taking lots of vitamin C and echinacea. It's not working though, is it? Huh? Hmm? I need some mascara and eyeliner, I think. Ta-ta!